Hey guys, what's going on? This is Roadrunner here. We got Xena, Avery, and Marmaduke here. And uh, it's almost January 1st. And I wanted to go over and show you guys uh, what we're going to leave out with this time. First off, I want to show you guys my walking stick. This is, uh, this used to be a tree actually. This was a growing tree, but it died. And uh, this was over, this is, this was over at our jungle nearby and so i took it and carved all of the bark off carved a notch right here as a handle eventually what i'm going to do is i'm going to put paracord wrap paracord around there and have a compass attached to that and then right here at the end of it i'll have a uh, little notch somewhere around there so i could use that as a, a uh, makeshift fish, fishing pole so uh, i'll be using this and if I need to, I can use my big band Dan as a bindle at the end of it. I'm gonna put that down. Stay. But uh, this is what we're gonna be leaving with. This is our big bindle, the bed roll, the Australian swag roll, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, I call it a bindle and a swag roll because I like those names a lot better than just a normal bed roll. But uh, <clears throat> on the outside, I got my coffee mug right here i love coffee if y'all haven't noticed by now but i got three straps attached to it to keep it down the outside of it is my plush palaka soviet russian tarp and uh let's get this thing open all right so we got it unraveled uh the way i normally do it is if i'm closing up the uh, bindle or whatever you want to call it we'll just call, we'll just call it a bindle okay because I, I know a lot of people do that uh, what I normally do is I have my sleeping bag at this corner right here and then it goes to another corner which you'll see here in a minute and then I go over and I take these two corners right here and fold them on to the sleeping bag so I'm gonna unravel this And you basically get to see the inside of what I carry. So, uh, first off, I have my World War II Mess 10, which has utensils and at least 10 books of matches that I get from, uh, get from the gas stations up in the Midwest, like Casey's and such. This is really cool. This is that one I had in that, uh, that one video where I was showing off the jungle and I actually ended up, uh, getting the whole inside cleaned. Hard to do this shit with one hand. But yeah, I got the inside cleaned up and uh, yeah, that's all the stuff that's supposed to be in it. You know, it would be nice if I had a GoPro camera. Put that over here. Next off, I'm pretty sure I showed this before. This is my uh, machete that has that has a uh, has a saw on the side of it. It's a really good one. I like it. I really like it for the saw because of the, I like multi-purpose tools. So if one side's able to you know swing and cut and the other one is able to saw and cut, why not? My ration bag, normally I'd carry MREs, but the uh, surplus store here in town, the guy who runs it hasn't been able to buy any MREs lately, so. Uh, this has everything from the Axe and Candy stuff, to oatmeal, some ramen, uh, got coffee packets in there, uh, peanut butter MRE related stuff, granola bars, and I have local untreated raw honey. It comes from Angelina County. The guy who does it, he's really cool. Oh, and then uh, now that I'm remembering, I also have uh, water purification tablets and the iodine tablets in there too. So that's all in there. I also got the usual life straw. Used it once to test it out. I probably should have uh, filmed it. I probably will again. But it works pretty good. A lot of people give uh, the lifestyle flack because they think it doesn't work, but in my opinion, it does. And then I'm not going to be able to reach over there, but 
that little container right there is uh that's salt and then i'm gonna add pepper i'm gonna add a little container of pepper here in a second of course uh toilet paper paracord that candle looking thing right there next to the jar of peanut butter that is a candle container but that's actually uh that's actually baking soda and the reason why i carry baking soda is because it gives so many uses everything from uh brushing your teeth uh, you can use it as deodorant, you can use it to stop a small fire, and the reason for that is because of the fact that uh, baking soda is a oxygen absorber. What are y'all doing? Hey, what are y'all doing? Huh? Anyways, uh, baking soda is an oxygen absorber, and so that's why when you use deodor when you use it for deodorant, or if you use it to put out a small little, small little fire, Especially like a cooking one, uh, it will go over and take the fire out because it's taking the oxygen out of that fire, which the fire needs. So that's the reason why I always carry baking soda. Um, another thing, obviously, as you can see, I carry a change of clothes, uh, mainly another pair of jeans and another. Actually, this one right here is my favorite because this is my Texas and Pacific Railway shirt. So I always carry that with me. And then uh, another thing I'm going to add in here after I get off here is uh, my Gore-Tex poncho. And then I'm going to add in my rail jacket. I have a old BDU jacket uniform that has a bunch of rail patches on of rail companies I rode. Uh, my sleeping bag. If I can get this undone. There we go. Sleeping bag is a zero degree sleeping bag with a blue foam pad in it and a Gore Tex bivy around it. Now, once we get back on the road, I'm eventually gonna order uh, two more Gore Tex bivies in case something happens to this one, but I'm also gonna order a complete set of both. So, in other words, I'll have the patrol bag and the nighttime bag of the because I'm trying to I'm gonna get another one like this and I'm gonna get the bags for this one but I'm also gonna get the uh, BDU camouflage woodland colored one and the bags for that because they have they they have different bags for for each Gore-Tex movie so uh, anyways that's basically our stuff uh, very in my opinion at least minimalistic. Uh, can't, you can't get any more simpler than this unless you're carrying a bendo on a stick, which I probably will eventually do uh, come spring and summertime. So, I uh, hope you guys like this. Leave a comment down below what y'all think. Any ideas, stuff like that. Uh, I will say, I did forget to mention, the tarp itself, I recently treated it with wax. And I also treated it with uh, two coats of... A spray that you could get at Walmart that basically it's it's like a rain protection so and I tried it before on uh, my uh, army half shelter the US Army half shelter I poured water on it after I put a coat of it on there and all the water rode down so with because of that if I needed to I could pull this corner right here and this corner over us and then my Gore-Tex uh, my Gore-Tex poncho, I'd put all my stuff, like my extra clothing and materials and all this, under that poncho to keep it uh, dry, or try to keep it as dry as much as possible. So anyways, like I said, I hope you guys like this. Uh, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think. Uh, please don't forget to share and subscribe. I usually don't tell people to do that because I don't, you know, try to force people into that such, but... Considering that YouTube does not like people like me and uh, all the other hobos, except for Shoestring and Stove, they're lucky. <laughs> so, I guess we'll get out of here.